What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Maz and today I'm back with another video and this time it's an educational one because I've been making a lot of vlogs so I thought it's a time to jump back into the productivity and let's start working. Right now I just finished my work and I have productivity guilt and if I don't finish my task I feel really bad and I can't sleep so for this reason I'm hungry really didn't eat the whole day but I still want to make this video and I think it will be useful to a lot of my subscribers. So the topic of today's video is whether the certifications are useful or not and whether you should get them. And at the end of this video I'll talk about with data analytics certification you should go. I have both IBM and Google data analytics professional certificate and I want to compare both of them and want to give you my recommendation based on my experience and how useful were they to me. So let's talk about the first part of the video, whether certification are useful or not. So it depends on the few criteria that we are talking about if you are at the very beginning of your career. So you don't have a lot of work experience and you don't have projects that were related in that field. So certification can give you a chance to show potential recruiters that you are passionate about this field, you are serious and you want to learn. And also you have industry related baseline knowledge that you acquire from this certification. So while studying from this certification can give you an idea about the jobs that you will be doing in a particular field. Let's say in our data analytics we are mostly you know, excited from the need that, okay, I will be dealing with data. So, while doing this certification, you will get an idea what types of job that you will be dealing with, whether it's cleaning, visualization, or making analytics based on the data that you are dealing with. So, at the very beginning of your career, yes, they are useful. The second criteria that I think should be talked about that you don't have a related degree. Most entry level listing in IT field require certification and if you don't have a degree in engineering, let's say computer science or STEM, certification can prove that you have knowledge and you are serious about that field. So you can, you know, actually be qualified for that job. Let's talk about certifications in project management. Whether you are major in physics or data science, for an example, but you want to work in project management field, you don't need to have like a degree in engineering or management to work as a project manager. You can get PMP certification or Google professional certificate in project management to show that you have the basics of this field and you're willing to learn. So it is useful when you don't have a related degree and you want to job in that particular field. Third, and the really important one, that some certifications are required for a particular job and they are mostly related in IT field. If you are looking for some project management position, when you look at the job description, they will write, they will write it explicitly that they need PMP, CAPM, our professional certification in project management are TOGAF certified professionals. So it's really important for some jobs to have certification because they can prove that you have knowledge in that field. For project management field, the one that I was working before, that you need to have a lot of experience to show that you dealt with enormous projects. If you don't, then you have to prove from a certification that you know about related concept. Let's talk about TOGAF certifications here. So if you want to work as an IT enterprise architect, you need to have an experience in enterprise architecture. But if you don't and you want to get into that field, you need to have a TOGAF certification that will show that you are aware of the TOGAF process. What are the different pieces? What is enterprise architecture, business technology, information uh, system architecture? And what are the different principles and artifacts that you will be working on? So in IT field, certifications are useful, they are required. So my thoughts on certifications. So please don't do certification for the sake of showing it to your colleague or teacher that you have completed this many courses from Coursera. No, they add little to no value to your resume and also recruiters don't care. So if you want to go for certification, go for the professional proctored exam. For example, Amazon Web Services, Solution Architect, 
Oracle, IBM, and Cloud Development Development in Azure. So these are the certification that can really add value and can potentially give you a job in a particular field. Also, project management certifications are really useful and can help you achieve from entry to mid-career level job from the two to three years of experience. So in that scenario, I think certifications are useful. But generally, if you want to increase your knowledge for the sake that you love studying, go ahead and do it. But for the pure purpose of job, these courses from Coursera, no, no one cares about them unless they are professional certifications. Now let's talk about Google versus IBM data analytics certification. If you look at the basic knowledge that you will be getting from both certification is almost similar and both organizations are teaching the technology that they are using in their company but based on so many factors that i'm going to list right now i think the google certification is better because it teaches you r r is a very difficult language but google data analytics professional certification can teach you the basics and then you can later pick on by yourself while IBM teaches Python, while Python is, yes, useful, but it's very easy to learn and you can do it by yourself. In Google Data Analytics certification, you will be dealing with really practical tools for visualization that is Tableau, SQL, they also teach Python, R for programming. These are the skills I think that you don't get from IBM Data Analytics certification, but they will get you a very clear concept what data analytics is, what is the use and how you can tell a story from scratch to you know actual results and metrics. So and also the important point here you have possibility to do a capstone project in Google Data Analytics certification so it can show you that how much you learn and you can have peer reviewed assignment that you have in IBM too but I really don't like that course from my work it didn't add that much value but Google definitely did now I can make really good dashboards I have uh, skills in SQL but from my job I really don't need them right now because I'm an IT architect I am working as a solution architect working on different IAM system identity and access management so I'll make a video about those later on but right now I didn't use their skills very much, but overall it was really useful. So my recommendation is go for Google Data Analytics certification based on the different skills that I listed before. So I hope you guys find this video interesting and useful and can help you decide whether you should go for certification or not. That's it for today's. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm gonna go eat something. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.